Hey guys, Steel Live One here. In this video, I wanted to do a little overview of all the different methods that I've used for sharpening knives, my kind of progression through sharpening, uh, and what I'm using now. So, when I first got into knives, uh, I bought, along with one of the shipments, this really cheap oil stone. It was probably from Bleed HQ or something. And it was really nothing fancy. It got the job done. I've sharpened some kitchen knives and whatnot on it. Uh, it's only the the dual grit. But I, I think this was around like $13. And it is, you get what you pay for when it comes to uh, sharpening stones. So that was, that was the first one. That only lasted for a little bit. But I figured I'd throw it in there. So you can see where I'm coming from. The next thing that I moved on to were these sharpening rods. I got these from a garage sale from a butcher. So this one is a Smith's, I believe. Yeah, Smith's. Uh, it's a Smith's diamond rod. And you can see it's kind of concave there on either side. And this is a more aggressive rod. And this is a stone sharpening rod, a honing rod. This one's much finer. And between the two of them, uh, they actually did a really good job on a bunch of kitchen knives and fixed blades. Uh, I've, I've not used folders on these ever, uh, but for the, for the purpose of sharpening fixed blades and kitchen knives, they work quite well, actually, maintaining edges and... Not so much reprofiling. Uh, I've not had to do, do that on, on these, thankfully. I just maintain them with these, but, uh, so that's, that's my, I've had a little bit of experience with these, and so far, I'm still liking these. I still use these uh, for, for fixed blades sometimes, just to, to touch them up. So, I mean, you can see they're all, they're all nasty and whatever. They've, they've got a, a lifetime of use before I got them, and, and now I continue to use them, so. There's those guys. Just set those over there. So once I'd gotten into some folding knives over $100, I had several of them and I was using them a bunch. I realized how dumb it was to not have a true sharpening system for them. Uh, I had no one to teach me how to do freehand and that kind of process just always sort of that the time it would take to learn how to do that was not something I wanted to do. So instead, what I did was I purchased this little Smith's, uh, or not Smith's, this is DMT, the Diafold Sharpener Kit by, or it's by D DMT, it's called the Magna Guide. But these stones are pretty awesome. I guess I'll open this up. So it has a plastic fixed angle system with these little steps notch steps that you can adjust it's got a decent amount of adjustment height adjustment uh, and works okay for for folders i've sharpened a whole bunch of them and some of my smaller edc fixed blades i've done on them this is a strop that i made that didn't work super well but it did the job uh, sharpie for marking the edge here's the here's the rod it's held on with magnets in the back. And this was actually a really good entry level sharpener, at least for me. I, I didn't have a ton of complaints with it, but I did have some. So here are the, the sharpeners that came with it. It came with, uh, I think it was two of these. Yeah, it was these two. So it came with a blue, of course, a medium coarse, a fine, extra fine. And then I purchased this guy separately. This is a beast grit. I think it's a 50 grit, the black stone. And it's got another coarse on the other side. So for reprofiling, I use this on some fixed blades and whatnot to speed up the process. Because it was taking me hours to do the first time um, on the, the blue coarse. And then what I did is on here, I put a piece of 2000 grit sandpaper to give me an even finer grit than the extra fine 
on the stone just to try to get a, a more polished edge. And this worked. It worked pretty good. I'm going to I'm going to recommend this for a beginner sharpening system. I think it ran around $60 or something. And honestly, these stones I still use sometimes to touch up stuff and uh, keep stuff honed in the field if I have to do a quick uh, like a backpacking trip or whatever throw one of these in the backpack and uh, it's super lightweight you can just freehand off of it and uh, they the diamonds in them work great and will hold up for a long time so even if you don't intend to keep the kit long term the stones will definitely serve you well uh, well past your when you're done when you've outgrown the grown the system so there's the uh, magna guide by DMT get rid of that and then what I've moved on to is of course the KME so I bought the deluxe kit uh, so it comes with a wood base it came with this guy the rod I bought this ball aftermarket uh, on I forget who it was it was someone's recommendation uh, it might have been Birdshot IV, if you guys have heard of them, but uh, I, I can't quite remember. Uh, but I ordered this from a hardware store online. Uh, just it was the right thread, and it made it's super, super comfortable to use. So that was a, a little mod I had to do. And then I bought this guy separately. This is a uh, rounded triway stone with three different grits on it. And this is for sharpening recurves. So I've used this... Uh, successfully to sharpen several recurves um, and it has really made me love the recurve blade shape more being able to sharpen it that's what a lot of people's complaint is, is oh i won't be able to sharpen it well i can sharpen it now and the the profile of the recurve is awesome for cutting so then i guess i'll move these off here up to the top and i'll get the whole whole case in here to show you guys what's in here so in here it comes with a rag, sharpie, whatever. Uh, this, I'm not sure actually what this is. Some sort of guide. I've never had to use it. Uh, it comes with some honing oil, and this is the strop compound. It comes in different uh, micron numbers. This I just have the number four. And then what I did was I bought uh, several different micron uh, strips that you put onto glass uh backers and they work good if you want to get up to like a mirror polish which i still haven't done i haven't had the the necessity to do so but having the ability to do that is really neat if you're like a you know one of those crazy knife collectors that likes mirrored edges on all your knives then this is by far the way to go and one one main thing that i really enjoy about the kme over my old dmt is the the fixtures are so much more solid the rod has more uh, length in it, and also the adjustment. You can fine-tune, I guess I'll run this in here. You can fine-tune the adjustment infinitely. There's no set uh, stops like there was in the DMT. For the DMT, if you had, or uh, the Magna Guide, if you had to, uh, if you had a fixed angle, like a factory angle on it, and you might get midway in between two notches, and you'd be out of luck, you'd have to grind down all the rest if you wanted to have a consistent bevel all the way across so that's one huge advantage to this if you're going to be resharpening stuff this is the way to go to keep your edges looking looking top notch and beautiful uh, as far as stones uh let's just I guess i'll just run them through i got some of them i think all of these came with the kit came with six diamond stones and then some arkansas stones the arkansas stones i have not used uh, they're the ones you use with oil and I think you can use those for honing uh, Like after you're done with the diamonds, I think they're finer grit. I could be totally wrong My experience with this is somewhat limited. I've sharpened a bunch of knives on it using the diamond stones But that I haven't gone anything super super fine. So here's here's one of those micron uh, Glass tapes there some more more micron tapes nine micron six micron and I have one micron in there. Uh, so that's, that's, those are the ones that I have right now. And then of course this little leather strop, which works very well. I like that a lot. Now the system's taken a little bit to get used to. Uh, the, the pressure's just have been a little bit different for me, uh, learning how to lighten up with the lighter grits 
and how to strop properly without ruining your strop. But I feel pretty confident now uh, with the experience that I've had with it in resharpening pretty much anything, getting edges that I'm happy with. Uh, I have yet to sharpen anything with this that I was not able to get screaming sharp that I was super happy with. So in that aspect, this does exactly exactly what I want it to, and I don't foresee ever upgrading to you know something like maybe a Wicked Edge or some of the other competitors. I'm I'm just not that crazy into sharpening. I like having a good system that does what I want it to do, and I don't feel any uh, any need in, in improving over this. I'll just buy more stones for it or whatever if I ever see the need. But but now I have a really, really good system that I'm happy with. And uh, I mean, as far as, as far as use goes, I don't know how many how many blades I've sharpened on this so far. It's it's less than a hundred, maybe even less than fifty. It's not that many times that I've used this, because as you guys know, how many knives I have, I and I rotate them all, carry them all. So very often I won't put enough use on one knife to actually warrant a full sharpening. I'll just strop it, um, which brings me to my strop here. Here's my strop. Uh, I I'd made one before. And it was kind of kind of junky. I just made this handle out of wood and glued the a piece of leather on the on the uh, one side. And the leather was was not good quality. Uh, so I just finally bit the bullet. I was like, okay, I'll fine. I'll buy a good one. So this one has uh, green compound and white compound, one on each side, and I really like it. I forgot who makes this. Unfortunately, if you're wanting to buy one, uh, I think it was maybe Knife Center, uh, but I'm not entirely sure. But this one's once again, it's it's done what I want it to, and uh, it works works much better than what I have, and I, I enjoy it. So I would recommend recommend this one, and I don't think this one was an arm and a leg, uh, cost wise either. Now it's it's not a try away. You don't get a get a third stropping compound or whatever, but I I don't really care care about that personally. So I think that's the video. Uh, pretty much that was my. Super fast history lesson sharpening with Dilovon, and uh, hopefully I will uh, keep doing this. Maybe I'll make some more videos of it, and uh, we'll see how it goes moving forward. So hope you guys like the video, and I'll catch you in the next one.